We are live, guys! Welcome to an amazing stream that we're doing today. I am Ninja Guy X, and today we have a special guest. Uh, we have Zarina. Lady Z, how are you doing, my friend? Hi, very well. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, today is a special event. Uh, we are uh, doing a um, fundraiser, basically, a stream for, for about an hour. It's going to go by super fast, guys. Um, we are. Uh, doing a you know um, raising money for Canadian mental health from uh, the Vancouver branch if you know if you want to uh, be specific uh, but we have a ultimate goal of put it, of doing one hundred dollars and the chat should promote the link to donate and uh, it's also in the description if you're looking at it so uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff to talk about today also so we're doing a giveaway uh, we're doing twelve giveaways actually so. Uh, everyone can participate. All you have to do is put hashtag mental health and we'll be drawing uh, 12 winners. And if there's not, uh, you know, 12 people getting in the giveaway, then, uh, you know, we'll, they'll all receive a game. So 12 games. Uh, it's I think it's all PC games. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll be spinning that wheel that we're seeing right here uh, at the end of the stream. And we'll be giving you guys uh, some games. Uh, for the donators, though, there is some exclusive giveaways that is being put in a poll. Uh, for the whole uh, for the whole event, and you guys will be giving uh, some very mo some more uh, uh, you know exclusive games, some some very good games. So uh, make sure to to donate donate if you want to you know have a chance to win at some better games. Uh, today we are playing Life is Strange because I felt like it was a good game to promote mental health. We'll be talking about the importance of mental health, and uh, yeah. I think uh, I think I've covered everything. Uh, Zarina will be putting some phone numbers for the help phone. Uh, you know, it's always important uh, to talk to someone. Always talk to someone. Something that uh, Metal Wolf uh, say once in a while, which I, I love. Sometimes he, he just says, uh, "Just talk to someone." You know, like uh, there's always someone to listen. So just just talk. That's uh, that's all I'm gonna say. That's a good. I think it's a good advice from uh, from Metal Wolf. With that being said, wise man. exactly right. With that being said, uh, Zarina, do you have anything to add uh, before we start the game? Not yet. Let's uh, start it off. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, so, Life is Strange is a very um, uh, it's it's a game that Zarina really enjoyed, and um, so sh she was suggested to me once that uh, when we were gonna do like a co stream, she wanted me to play Life is Strange, uh, you know, as a first co stream and. Uh, I, th I thought it was a great opportunity to do it today while we were actually, you know, uh, doing the, this event for the fundraiser. So, one last thing, one last thing, Zarina, before, before I start. Go ahead, uh, no oh, worries, I we're here. Say, I want to say hello, hour. yeah, for sure. I want to <laughs> say hello to everyone in the chat. We got Granite here, who was the first here. We've got Jesse Gaming 93 welcome, my friend. You're so nice, uh, so kind of you for coming in every time. We've got Rebelica, Rebelica, hello, my friend. Uh, and I see that the Nightbot is working well, perfect. We've got Will! Will Ball! Will B! Welcome, my friend, to the stream! We've got Dead Alive! Uh, oh, and good luck on the on the giveaway, Granite and Will. Zemira, you're also allowed to get in if you'd like to, uh, to participate, but it's up to you. Um, and then we've got the Legendary Outbreak attending a Legendary stream. Welcome, Evan! Thank you so much for the Hi. kind words. Yeah. we got Ye uh, Javer? Ye Yever? Not too sure, my friend, but hello. Happy to see you here. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and start this up. Just got to do uh, that, that, close the music. And it's going to be a very, you know, uh, redneck type, type of a uh, mechanic. I just assemble everything all together really fast. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to see who donated. Hopefully Zarina can see it from her small screen that she's seeing live there, but <laughs> we'll see. I have it on the side, just in case. So. All right, perfect. So Zarina, um, have you finished the first Life is Strange game? The first one, yeah. I haven't started the prequel yet. Okay. Um, and I haven't started the comics yet, but the comics. <laughs> I plan to. And what about the second one and uh, True Colors? I, I watched John play about an hour. I've watched some streams here and there, but I haven't played it myself yet because I want to play them in order. Oh, I, I see. Start. Ah, that's smart. Yeah, because uh, before the storm came out, after the first one, right? Ah. Yeah, 
yeah, before the storm, it's a prequel. It's a, it tells the story of what happened before the storm that occurs in this this one. Okay, awesome. Uh, someone subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, I because of the big setup that I have, I apologize, but I can't see who subscribed. But thank you very much, and uh, happy to see you here. Um, so here we are with Life is Strange. Uh, I think I'll have to lower down the volume in the game for to make sure to, that I hear you well, Zarina. Um, okay. But yeah, very calm music. I, I did play the game. I never played it a lot. Maybe like two hours top. I never finished the first episode. Um, for some reason, when I play it, the thing is, you know, you experience the life of a of a teen. I think she's a teenager of a, you know, of a young lady, young adult uh, going through school. And I just felt like, uh, you know, I didn't fit in these shoes. It, it just didn't feel like something that I can relate with. So, so, and I think it's it's understandable, right? Because this game is very reflects a lot of uh, you know of real life situations, and um, it's for me it's just not si uh, a situation that I can relate. So so that's why. Uh, but I still enjoy it, you know. And um, I think Zarina will, will be convincing me to uh, to maybe <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh, Will, thank well, you. <laughs> it was Will, yeah, it was Will. <laughs> Welcome, Will. <laughs> thank you. Um, this game, I could understand how you don't really empathize with her much. Like you said, she's a young woman, right? And she's yes. like going through kind of like a self-discovery thing. And um, I can obviously empathize a little bit more. But what I it really connect, I really connected with the the game emotionally. Like I, I, um, I like any other teenager out there. I had an awkward like teenage years, you know, like everybody else. But um, she feels like she just doesn't fit in, right? She's almost an outcast some people make fun of her she's not she's super sweet super nice but she doesn't quite fit in with anybody and, and i can relate to that very much you know like i never did anything wrong in high school but for some reason people will make fun of me you know like i just i can i can relate a lot to her and uh i i, I just it's very emotional experience the story and a, a good story i'm a sucker for a good story in any game and this one really delivered and it's it's slow paced so you're like you're a super ninja when you play a ninja <laughs> you like like difficult challenges like this is not a challenging game but it's an emotionally connecting game that's yeah. what i like to play. and not to say that you know i i it's it's not the fact that it's easy that i don't like it because i do enjoy uh you know just a relaxing game once in a while um but uh yeah it's uh, it's the story itself and i do understand how important the story is and how people really enjoy the game at least i understand right why people really enjoy it yeah. um i might talk over the dialogue but it's not because i'm not listening it's because i've tried the first episode about five times uh, since it came out, <laughs> so so I, I know I know how, what's happening, and I can uh, explain maybe while while it's happening also. But uh, just to say that I might talk over the dialogue once in a while. But uh, here we are, and you know, if anyone wants to experience a very emo emotional journey, definitely give this game a try. Man, this game came out a long time ago, now that I think about it. I remember playing it on like the PlayStation 3 back then. So we'll be... Where am I? Um, What's happening? We'll stop playing about 15 minutes before the stream ends, because we do have to do a lot of giveaways, by the way. So uh, make sure to put hashtag mental health if you'd like to get a chance to, uh, to win a game on PC. Well, I see you donated. Rebellican granted too. Very Evan. cool. Wow, you guys. Thank you so much. You know what? I have to put it on pause. Sorry, I have Please to. Make it yeah, I do it. Do it. Put it on pause. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I just have to. You know Thank what? Thank you, guys. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Let me try something. Oh, it's still working. Okay, cool. Yeah, Rebellica Dead Drop Studio will be. Wow, amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we're already more than halfway <laughs> to the goal. Amazing. So guys, you will be entered in a poll to win some pretty cool games uh, through the whole uh, event. So again, thank you so much. Real appreciate it. Uh, you might be helping out someone in Canada uh, who's experiencing some, uh, you know, some hard times. So definitely, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. And 
By doing that, now I actually figured out how to... Yeah, I can see everything now! Hey, perfect! So, we're good to go. Yay! <laughs> I thought for some reason your screen would freeze, but it did not, so that's good. Man, the, the sensitivity is crazy. Look at that! <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, let's see here. You're playing mouse and keyboard? Uh, no, I'm actually playing... Oh, the looks into the there you go. With a uh, controller. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. We can change it, though. The PC version probably has just more sensitivity. I just better. assumed since she spun around so fast, it was a uh, mouse, but it's not. Yeah. It's like $5 US. <laughs> Always happy to help out my neighbor. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Oops. So, right now we're having a dream. Um. Well, I, I kind of spoil it, I guess. But yes, <laughs> we're uh, in this, we just wake up in this strange place, and yeah, there's like a really big storm here, and she's going to the lighthouse because she thinks that it might be safer, basically. Oops. Yeah, there's like a big tornado here. Come on, Max. You can make it. Very dangerous. Okay. Oh, Xavier, sorry about that. That was close. Was so Alfred surreal. Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, it's hard to believe, but the remaster looks a lot better the than the original game, for sure. The colors are more vibrant. That short and feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? So we're basically laughing at me now. In a photograph class, if I'm not mistaken. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of We're like in a special school made for uh, um, talented artists, I think, or something like that. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic Thanks, Sen7. I really appreciate Max that. Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <laughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth <laughs> to the first self-portraits? Uh, what should we say, chat? Which should, should we say, you're asking me? Or should we say... I didn't know. I'll let the I'll let the chat decide. Um, what do you guys think? Someone named Zarina donated twenty five dollars. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Zarina. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Really appreciate that. Uh, that's awesome. You guys are amazing, and uh, we almost reached the goal, which is crazy. There's been a lot of donators through the whole event, and people has been have been super generous. And my gosh, thank you. Hi, Crow Risen. Uh, yeah. Oh, Will Ball says we should say, I did know, so let's put that. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or ah, not, B. Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis now, before <laughs> I continue, I'm just going to lower down the volume a little bit more here. here so, Ninja, I don't hear the volume myself unless I put the, uh, oh. the YouTube stream, up, stream on. Really? Ah. <sighs> The only thing that I can fix that, sadly. That's I'm, okay. so, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, no, <laughs> okay. that's okay, because we've got subtitles, and I can put it on the side here. Okay, perfect. 
The Daguerrean process All right. brought out uh, Hey, CGTV! Making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first so yeah, uh, I mean... Self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I don't miss cool, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> getting like... <laughs> getting uh, caught up with questions like that oh, when you're like... Zoning out or something like that. Like yeah, I really don't miss that. Oh, perfect, Will. Thanks for confirming. I'm a little weird. I, I loved school. I loved homework, but I didn't like the experience as a teenager. You know, so I wouldn't. I'd go back to school as an adult. <laughs> like yeah. university, I loved it, yeah. but I mean, I was a full-grown adult by the time I got there, right? So yeah, wow. But in high school, I wouldn't go back. I. I yeah, I didn't mind it. Like, I just always laughed off whatever people were, you know, laughing about me. Um, I just, you know, brushed it out for some reason. I just, I just could do that, which I was, I guess I was lucky, you know, at being able to do that. Well, it's good and it's bad, right? I mean, trying to bottle something up, eventually it overflows, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, do I have to? I just don't think it's yeah, I think bottling up Max, probably ended up, and you know, we're being open here. Uh, it probably opened up, uh, you know, other actually mental health issues that I had, like anxiety and things like that, right? Like uh, yeah. just overthinking and just not expressing how I should be expressing. So, yeah. Same here. I had uh, a bit of a rough childhood, so I also learned how to bottle things up and I could just completely shut off my emotions and even just block out the thought. Like, I didn't even remember certain things, you know, wow. um, that only came back later. And then eventually in my early 20s, I started having a panic attack, like panic attacks regularly. Mm. And they would happen when I didn't expect it. They wouldn't happen in a stressful situation. They would happen when I was completely okay and I didn't understand why. Yes. It took therapy and uh, antidepressants and, and a, a while for me to break down really why it was happening. And it was because of that habit of pushing things inside. So I wish I had, or if I, I wish I knew of somebody to talk to back then, maybe I would have learned yeah. how to deal with it a little bit better, you know? Mm -hmm. I, um, you know, as you get older, you do develop um, the skills to, to, to get over it. But uh, as a kid, I started anxiety really early, like at 16 years old or something like that. Uh, yeah, it started really... Well, I mean, there's people who it's even earlier, but... Um, the thing is, when I was re really young, I just felt like I, I just needed to please everyone, right? And I'm sure you can relate to that, Zarina, because I feel like you yeah. have the same kind of uh, yeah. <laughs> of uh, attitude. And that I think that's, that's hard. It's hard to please everyone, and it just brings up being very stressful about it because you can't you can't do it right and it just you can't control uh how it works and uh yeah it took a long time for me to finally uh you know finally get rid of these uh well the worst of it at, at least it still happen once in a while but and uh chat guys if you have any experience you want to share definitely we'll take the time and read it uh we're all here to listen today so uh for sure I see Wheelball saying panic attack sucks. It does. Anxiety is something, but panic attack is is the worst. It's like nothing else matters, right? It's all it's all you can think of. Nobody can help, and it's yeah. it's just a, a moment that is really and, yeah yeah, and it just cripples you. It cripples you exactly. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last week. Um, At least now, science class for that. Did I do that properly? <laughs> uh, do I have to wash? I think I have to wash. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Robert and Bruce in the chat. Welcome, guys. Uh, Dizzy says, "Buggers." <laughs> Just relax. Yeah. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Yeah, you see how she keeps worrying, keeps worrying. So it, it is something hard. Will says, "I have been diagnosed." Uh, with OCD, uh, like obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, which drive, drives up my anxiety. Oh man, I can't imagine. Because um, with that, you like if there's something not done the perfect, like the, the way that, that needs to be done, it just doesn't work well, right? And um, I can understand that for sure. Good luck, Phoenix, in, in the giveaway. But yeah, like, 
it's hard to give tricks, you know, to someone who's having these kind of issues. There's no, it's hard to heal because everybody has to figure out their own way because it's different for different kind of people. Uh, if I would tell you my tricks, uh, it doesn't mean that it would work for you, right? Um, exactly. But uh, there are tricks you know, to help out. It's just trying to figure it out. It's, it takes a while. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. And um, I think the last thing that uh, started my my panic attacks was um, overworking. So I was working too much. You know, I was doing too many streams. I was trying to help out um, other shows for everyone, and I just didn't took the time to just rest. And you know, so that was a, a different kind of. Um, of panic attack it was just overworking myself i was kind of like getting a burnout right and uh at least i've learned that uh how to control that just by doing a lot less work which is a which is a good thing i can't do less work at work unfortunately but less work you know in the uh, entertainment meds have help okay What's that? Sorry? It's really important to put your your mental health first, no matter yeah. what. You know, like, when Linda, we, we all love you. We all love your streams, but <laughs> we want you. And if you're broken, you can't be here, right? You can't come back. Exactly. Um, that was advice my dad came gave to me one day um, a long time ago when I was going through a tough time. It had to do with the panic attack time. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I, I just wanted, like you, to please everyone. Like, uh, my, my sister needed me. This person needed me. My friend needed me, you know? And my, my dad said, he told me, he said, Serena, you can't help anybody if you're broken. You have to fix yourself first before you can help anybody else. So, yeah. Ninja, you have to... <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did good. You got to yeah. take care of yourself first. <laughs> exactly. You know, what? so, you know, I was I was a yes man. I, I used to say yes all the time for anybody, anywhere, anything. Um, now... I don't do it as much. Uh, wait, can I, I, there you go. Um, what, what you know when I said no? When I say no now, it really hurts because because I'm not used to say it, you know. Uh, but I realize that in the long run, um, my mental health is better by doing that. So uh, it's pretty crazy. Anybody? Um, it's hard to say no. Yeah. It's hard to say no when you feel like you don't have a good enough reason. You know, exactly. You don't, you don't need a good reason. This is something I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm not in my early 20s anymore and I'm still learning it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's a lifetime uh, learning process for sure. Um, let's take some time to read the chat a little bit here. Um, Granite says, the thing that surprised me the most about panic attacks is that I've heard doctors tell people the only way to tell the difference between a heart attack and a panic attack is to go to an... Um, I can tell. To a, 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 a ECG echocardiogram. Echocardiogram, yeah. right? Um, what if that I think. Isn't dead? Yeah, I went to the hospital back in last I year, in been a vital April or May. That was the time where I was just doing doing too much stuff, right? I was doing too much uh, um, streams and and too much work. And for some reason, I just couldn't get my heartbeat down, and it just kept going. Higher, like every hour just kept going higher. I lasted like I tried like to last it for two hours, and af after that, I was like, you know what? I'm getting, I'm having a heart attack. F it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to the hospital. So I woke up my girlfriend, and uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, luckily it wasn't anything. Um, then I happened to have what something I don't know what happened, but yeah, I had something this year, uh, or no. Late last year, and I, need time to save that girl. Um, and I did some blood tests. I, you know, I bought a, um, uh, geez, a uh, blood pressure machine, and uh, yeah, everything is good. So, you know, it's good to make some small checks still, right, to make sure. And it, I, it actually, uh, for me anyway, this is my trick. It actually gives me like a um, reassurance, and uh, my panic attacks just toned down by you know knowing that my heart is fine. Definitely something to uh, figure Well, it just out. goes to show how strong an effect your mind can have on your body. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And for something like that to happen to you because of what's going on in here or in here, it's 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 pretty significant. People need to take mental health a lot more seriously. Yeah. Um, we're a lot more open to hearing each other's stories these days than we were then. There was a lot more stig um, um, stigma attached to it. 
people didn't really want to talk about it. They felt weak talking about it. They felt they would be judged. And there is still some of that today, but um, it's so much better. And it's just talk. Like the middle wolf said, just talk. Somebody will, t somebody will listen. Yeah. Ninja's here to listen. I'm here to listen. You guys know how to reach me in Discord. Oh, yeah, exactly, guys. Uh, we're all friends here. And uh, we all talk to each other. Some of us do talks in DMs already. So, uh, if, you know, if you need to talk, of course, we're all here to listen. And uh, Will, I saw your message there, you know, that uh, medication help. Uh, but it's not, a, uh, you know, it's not a miracle pill for sure. Um, yeah, and it's a band-aid, right? It's it's not fixing the root of the problem. So when I took the, the antidepressants in my early 20s, it helped me until I could figure out what the problem was, until I could figure out what the root of the problem was, and then I was able to get off of them, right? Mm -hmm. Some people have to stay on them, and that's it. Like like Ninja said, everybody's a different story. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a temporary fix. Sometimes. Um, so, a few months ago, like, almost after my last panic attack, I decided to take uh, magnesium. And for some reason since then, um, I've been doing a lot better. Uh, you know, it's not a miracle uh, vitamin or whatever. But um, I don't know why. It just really helped because, uh, you know, magnesium helped with the... Um, it helps with the heart and muscles. And it helps you relax. Like, you know, when I take it before going to bed, it just... Um, it just relaxed me a little, uh, a lot more. So I don't know exactly what's, you know, if it's actually because of that or if it's a placebo or something. But it, it you know, it's just something to tell, just in case someone wants to try it out and see if it helps out. You know, it's, uh, worth worth a try. You know, if you're if you're looking into solutions. No, well, for sure, magnesium helps you sleep, right? And even <laughs> if it is a placebo. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something. It's something. It's healthy. It's not. We're not talking about strange chemicals you're putting in your body here. We're talking about magnesium. It's it's just healthy any, anyway. So <laughs> by all means, whatever you need to do, right? Exactly. Exactly. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm. I want to read. I want to read the chat. So I'm just gonna yeah. put it on pause here and just uh, take some time to look, to read everything. Uh, so let me just. And I'll start. Okay, yeah, Brandon says, yeah, how, yeah, it can be scary. Uh, Ninja is going to shut up the stream and get some, some rest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, man, it's too much today. I, I gotta, I gotta get out. No, no, I, I learned to control my, um, my streaming schedule and it's a lot better. You know, um, I used to have a schedule. I, I stream it every day, every day, every day, and that's it. But now, once in a while, I, I'll just, just won't do a stream in a day. And that's what it is. You know, I couldn't sleep in a day or something. I'm tired. I don't feel like streaming. I'm not going to force myself doing it. Uh, so, oh my gosh, we've reached the goal. Robert, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate that. So guys, we are at 100. It's all I ask. So thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> uh, we're ending it now. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, like I said, this is, this is going to help someone, hopefully. And it's all I can ask. Uh, wow, Galen is in the chat. Uh, he says that's scary. Yeah, so so well, uh, I'm I'm doing a video of it well right after this actually. So he stepped into a very you know a very deep uh, stream here. But yeah, we're talking about you know the seriousness of mental health and things like that. Um, Will says I woke up one night and had most likely a panic attack and went to the hospital thinking it was a heart attack. So back in 2013, I went to the hospital about like five times in a month or something like that because. It was when it started getting really bad for some reason. Um, actually, uh, let me talk about that a little bit. So um, in 2013, I actually got divorced. Uh, I, you know, I was married, a uh, happy life. And uh, all of a sudden, um, the, the lady I was uh, with uh, cheated on me. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So uh, it really, really, uh, you know, put a strain on me and started having like a Almost, I don't know how you can you say it, but synchronized heart uh, panic attacks, you know, like I just had anxiety daily and uh, anyway, so it was, it was a tough time in my life uh, and yeah, so I, ha I went to the hospital a few times and then they prescribed me some um, uh, some uh, citalopram in French, it's called. It's uh, it's citalopram, I had the same one. Oh, you did? Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, well, not cool, but you know. <laughs> And yeah, it, it, it really helped me out for a bit. And then when I, you know, I started getting a little bit better, uh, feeling all right with, with what was happening, um, I, I stopped them. And luckily, yeah, it, it was the end of it for me. Um, 
Serena has put some amazing phone numbers that you can call if you need to, if you need some help. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's hard, you know, it's hard to get some help. I know in Canada, it's, it's really, it's crazy because sometimes people who, who are su suicidal, they call and they just don't have enough places, you know, to, they don't have enough time or, or enough, uh, you know, they have too much people calling and, and they can't help them. And, uh, you know, this is why we're doing some fundraising and some, you know, to help out these, uh, these industries where, you know, they can uh, expand with more people to work and all of that. Because, uh, you know, when so the, someone who is suicidal, it's so hard for them to admit it and to actually seek some help. So for them to be refused, uh, you know, by, by uh, you know, uh, an association for, for this, uh, it's, it's, it, it can really, really be bad. So uh, again, it's uh, it's just a little thought I wanted to talk about. So you know, get uh, look at these phone numbers, and if you need help to talk, definitely uh, they'll be there to listen. Uh, Phil says one thing to worry about when having a panic attack is what if is actually an art attack, which it doesn't help the panic attack. Oh well, yeah, this is the worst. This is exactly uh, the worst about it, and um, this is why you know when I get checked, I guess I don't get panic attack for a while because uh, you know if something. If I start getting like a fast heart rate or something, I kind of know that it's not that, so it's better. But I definitely got uh, went into your shoes with that, and uh, it's not it's not a fun time. Oh, this like you start reading about it, right? You just, you go on your phone and it's like, oh, what are the symptoms? What are what are this? What are that? And then you read something like, oh, panic attacks are just supposed to last ten minutes, and I'm like, what? It's lasted for like two hours. Like it, it's not normal, you know. But it's it's all about the. Um, what you read it's it's just crazy what they see on the internet it's the worst thing you could do um it's a rabbit hole it just gets worse and worse and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a compounding effect exactly i, I like what the, i like what cgtv said this community has helped my mental health in so many ways yes definitely um it did help me too for sure um it it's a really good distraction honestly and uh if it wasn't for the um uh, working too too much on, on on my content and stuff like that uh, you know at the beginning it definitely uh, actually helped me out uh, i was getting less panic attacks while i was distracted you know working on at uh, the studio community and all of that so uh, yeah hats off to that cdtv uh, it's always good to have someone to talk to mental health definitely robert and uh, i'm not sure if uh, that puts you in the giveaway but if you want to go in the giveaway just put hashtag mental health again and we'll get you in um so yeah i think we'll take we'll go to the chat for the, next, the last five minutes uh i think we're gonna stop the the stream for now and just talk and uh just gonna put like i don't know i'm just gonna put something on on the internet while we continue with this conversation here uh oh, oh crap what the fuck oh well it's <laughs> a profound word here let's just quit this <laughs> uh yeah let's just leave it there um so Cruz says there's there definitely is a stigma around mental health, but I'm glad that's changing and it's easier to talk about. We all have mental health issues at some point in our life. Nothing uh, to be ashamed of. Yes, I love uh, I love knowing that I'm not alone. You know, it's because just talking about it is it's just crazy. Like even when uh you know I'm just having a little bit of a, of a, of anxiety, I just tell it to my girlfriend and um it helps I, I she said like do you need anything or i'm just like no uh i just you know i just wanted to tell you and and i don't know for for so like for some reason when you tell someone it, it kind of helps a little bit because i guess you don't think like oh what do they think do they think that i'm, I'm weird or, or anything like that because they know and you can just move along with um figuring out other things uh but it, you know yeah feeling alone when you're going through something that is the worst mm -hmm. Exactly. And having somebody that you know that supports you won't judge you, whether it's in whether it's family or friend or even a stranger from those phone numbers. Just having somebody who cares mm -hmm. can make all the difference. Exactly. Um, I think my OCD is hereditary. Oh my god, genes. Yeah, that sucks. Well, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Just shake your just shake your fist at your dad. And that's all I, that's all mom, I can tell it was my mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your mom. Say, shake your fist at your mom, Zabina. That's all I can tell about this one. Because um, I don't think... Um, 
I think it developed on its own on my end, sadly. <laughs> um, CGTV says. Well, my mom was so like was so nitpicky about everything. Like she ironed socks and underwear, you know. And to make the bed, I wasn't allowed to make the bed until a certain age because I just didn't do it right. Oh, but then it. once I did, there was like a weird way to tuck in. It's like a military style to tuck in the sheets. And then when I was living on my own, I was doing that. I was like, no, I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna fight this. So I take took my covers <laughs> off, threw the sheets loosely off the pillow, and I covered up. I. Uh, it shows a little bit. No, it doesn't show. It's good enough. You know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, buy, it. you buy like a bean bag, and yeah, that, no, that's my bed now. <laughs> you know, like, like, water bed. <laughs> yeah, water bed. There you go. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Um, it puts me in a good mood and gives me something to look forward to. There you go. That's really good. Um, yeah, Will, I, I, I hit $100. Amazing. Thank you, everyone. Well, with the clapping and the heart. Crow Risen with hashtag mental health. Uh, is it Crow Risen? No, wait. Where am I? Yes, it is. Okay, good luck on the giveaway, Crow Risen. We got Granite says, wait lists for many problems for mental health in Canada are truly brutal. Yes. So Granite is very familiar with, with you know, that, that system. And um, it's, it's good to, to hear from him that, you know, it, it needs some work. And they are, they are working on it. But sometimes you hear about, you know, job cut, cuts and stuff like that. So I'm not exactly sure how it goes, but hopefully uh, they can make it better. Yeah, well, well has some good advice. Take care of yourself, you know. Uh, take, you know, you are the priority and then you take care of the others after. Uh, except your significant other. That, that person, you, you know, put, put your full attention to them. <laughs> That's all I can say. Well, it's like when you're on a plane, right? They always yeah. tell you put your own oxygen mask on first because if you pass out, you can't help your kids, right? Yeah. You can't help your spouse or whatever. That's good advice from, uh, from Zarina. I, I do approve <laughs> of that. <laughs> good luck on the giveaway, Tana. Uh, internet is the worst for diagnosis. Yes, Will. I think I got lucky what, once. Where I got like a, a an article that actually helped me. Like this this one time, there was like a really good ar article that like put my mind at ease. But uh, it never happened again. <laughs> uh, Jesse says, "All right, I'm back. How's everyone going? Doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I hope this stream is uh, you know putting an ease to everyone. But uh, this is uh, this is uh, what the vibe I'm trying to give today." Uh, as an autistic, I love I, I love this. There you go, Jesse. Well, I'm happy that you're enjoying this. Um, you know, when I when I don't understand something like uh, autistic, I'm not too familiar with it. Um, you know, I've watched some shows about it, um, but I love to talk one on one with uh, someone with with something like that because I get to learn, uh, you know, directly from the source. Uh, you know, and understand how it is. So, um, you know, I always have a, a bunch, a, a million and one questions when I, I meet people with uh, a diagnostic that I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I've, I've met a, a good friend of mine. His name is um, Jackson. I met him in like 2018, 2019, and he's a transgender. And, you know, he, he, uh, he had a lot of stuff to go through and he's an amazing person. And, uh, you know, he, he, he was really open towards uh, his transgender and you know when i became friend with him i asked him so many questions and i understand him so much now you know like uh it's just it's just amazing uh you know to to learn about uh, all of that uh, let's see here i think we're i'm sorry like i i want to read everything i just i'm just like that i just I'll, always when i do my streams i always read everyone's chat i'll make sure to to read everything all of the messages you have you guys are amazing uh again if you need to talk just you know dm me or zarina of course she's we're I mean, always open yeah. yeah we're always open to to talk to you guys and uh, thank you so much all right we're gonna go for the giveaway guys uh we're gonna do 12 draws so it's gonna be crazy i think i'm gonna dr do the 12 draws and then i'm gonna spin the wheel off stream and I'm, I'm gonna give you the keys so if you're a winner guys you have to contact me on either twitter or Discord. I am on John's Discord, John from Four Scars Gaming, and uh, you can contact me there. I got my email in um, my about page in YouTube, so you just have to contact me if you win. So uh, good luck to everyone. Let's go have a look at the Nightbot. We've got eight eligible users. Um, well, I guess if if this is the case, I'm going to record everyone, and everyone is winning something, and we can actually uh, spin the wheel. <laughs> so let's do that. <laughs> so we've got. Um, let's see here. We got Crow Resin, 
Michael Branson. And I know Robert. Dasher. Never heard of John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your uh, your score leaderboard in uh, on his Discord proves you wrong. I think. <laughs> T Rock, congratulations to the winners. You see, you're all winners here. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that talk. <laughs> We've got Mr. Seahorse. We've got Rebelica. Rebelica. We've got Robert. We're gonna start seeing like Robert One, Robert Cool, Robert Oz, you know, like <laughs> the alternate <laughs> names to win. We've got Tanaceras. Got Will B. I know uh, uh I only know one other person with who is Second name is Will. Uh, is is that uh, no? Not Will. Is Ball. I think it's John Ball. He's a he's actually like a book uh, writer, and he does a lot of amazing work. From uh, he's from Toronto or something like that. All right. So last chance, guys. Uh, who if is there anybody else who would like to enter? I'm gonna give like one more. I'm gonna give uh, twenty five more seconds there. I only have oh, wait. I forgot someone here. Someone must have got in afterwards. Um, one, two. Okay, so we got Crow Resin, Phoenix. We have Mister Seahorse. Mister Seahorse, I do. Rebelica, mm -hmm. Robert, Tana, Willby, and Serena. There's an A not popping out in the nine eligible user for some reason. Um, I do apologize if uh, you entered and it's not in. Uh, Tana, you are in. Yes, your name is right here. Not related. Yeah, I, I was wondering. <laughs> th thanks for uh, subconsciously answering my question. <laughs> All right, let's spin the wheel, guys. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so Crow Resin will be winning. Oh, there's actually music. Heck yeah! I hope you guys are. Hearing I like that. yours better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can sing. I can sing. Smoke and sacrifice. Congratulations. So let me remove that. Smoke and sacrifice. And just a reminder, everyone who's donated will be entered in a poll with um, some even better games. So uh, make sure to uh, do that if you like. Um, you don't need more games, Jesse. I understand that. Uh, oh, not remove all. So remove. Okay, good. All right. So uh, Phoenix Wing uh, is the next. Let's try to sing here. Spinning the wheel. Spinning the wheel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we got into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, guys. Serena came. That was way to... better than mine. Yeah, Serena woke up in the early in the morning just to uh, hear me sing once. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Term oil is. Congratulations, Phoenix, to won Term oil. And let's remove that. Dance party! Alright, so you so Melissa Martinez is asking me to dance on the next spin, so we'll do that. The spin of life! Oh, that's all I'm doing. We need we, we need Maurice here to spin. Oh wow! The game of life! Did I didn't I just say something of life? That's Did you just weird. say that? Yeah! What? So granted you win the game of life. <laughs> that is so Two. weird. <laughs> Okay, so next bit I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say uh, like Dead Space or like Hogwarts Legacy. So maybe, maybe you'll yeah. get that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mr. Seahorse, good luck, and you win. Ooh, this is intense. Uh, you win. J Jag Jagged Jagged Alliance Two. Jagged Alliance Two. <laughs> 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 Not quite what you said, but close enough. Yeah. Jig <laughs> Alliance du Classic. 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 All right, it's time for Rebelica. I hope she, that she wins a really cool, peaceful the game. Sim. Yeah. The Sims, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish that she would win Brothers. I saw Brothers in there. It's a really cool game. Ah, she wins. Rune Raiders. Oh, man. It's too bad it's not lily pads. <laughs> lily pads, the sequel. You know? Can you imagine? Rune Raiders. Granted, I can be a winner at the game of life. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, the next is Robert. Let's see here. Will Robert win? Uh, that 
tell. <laughs> and the winner is Wizard of Legend. Congratulations. It's a wizard. Robert the it's wizard. A wizard game. Yeah. <laughs> wizard of Legend. Well, Robert is a legend after all, so it's perfect. This is true. Yeah. Let's see. For Tana Saras, you win. <clears throat> Survey says. Hollow Knight! Wow, oh, nice. Mansion. Very nice. That's a good one. Wow. Yeah. I don't even have that game and I want it, so. Awesome. Good one. Will be. You are next. I hope you don't Imagine this was like Crisis, right? Where you have to spin the wheel and. How did they knock, knock their heads on that thing? Did you ever wonder? <laughs> did you Were you just waiting for it to happen? It never happened. They have to, right? Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> Company of Crime, crime Give? give? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Company of crime, I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, Company of Crime Give. I mean, Robin Hood makes crimes and he gives to the poor. Huh? Robin Hood? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Come Robin on, Hood Night Sleeper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Zarina. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what Zarina wins. Oh, she wins a Men in Black song. Uh, Men in Black game. <laughs> no, Men in Black! her. <laughs> Payday 2! Wow! Yay. Oh my gosh, congratulations. That is another big cool. one, actually. Yeah, it's so, fun. Amazing. Thanks, Ninja. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All thanks to... Uh, I gotta say thank you to... Um, Bjorn, that plays game, who organized the whole thing. He's the one who got all these keys, sponsored a bunch of publishing companies. It's amazing. Like, uh, these are like the smaller games, but you should see the games in the uh, donators giveaway. It's insane, the amount of games. There's 80 games total, and it's just insane. So wow. hopefully, uh, you know, you get to win some good, good games. Hopefully you enjoy this, guys. It's been a while since I did a, um, a donation type of uh, uh, a stream um, I uh, you know I usually get an emotional I usually do two hour streams uh, and uh, you know thank you so much thank you Zerina for coming in um, and sharing you know your 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 um, experience in the past and uh, yeah I think I think we're gonna end it here maybe talk a little bit more but uh, <laughs> Lily Pads yeah Revelika <laughs> um, but yeah other than that I I think we we covered everything um i'll do i'll uh, definitely do more charity stream you know at some point um it's very important to me you know to to raise some money for these for these charities i i i previously do, did some charities for pflat canada which helps people in the lgbtq uh, community but uh, because this was for mental health i actually asked uh, um, granite because he's a you know he's an expert in uh, in in this domain and he's he told me to uh you know, do a, a charity for CH, CH, uh, CMHA, which is Canadian Mental Health Association. So thank you, Granite, for that. And, uh, you know, thank you to everybody who's, um, who's supporting this cause. And uh, we'll be, uh, you know, stay tuned. Um, Four Scars Gaming is actually next after me. So make sure to have a look at his stream. You know what? I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, put a link in my, um, in my chat. Uh, let's see here. But uh, he's next on the list, so uh, definitely have a look at his stream. I don't know if he's actually scheduled one yet. Maybe not. You know what? I'm going to put it, but he might not be streaming because Zarina, he might be busy, right? Like he talked about how, how busy he is. So, But I'm going to put a link anyway. And um, have a look. Have a look at his stream. And um, if he's not streaming, well, definitely support him too. He's an awesome person. Okay. Yes. Now I can. Ninja, done. I'm going to interrupt you. I want to thank you. You're taking all this time to thank everybody else, and I thank them as well, Bjorn especially. Yes. Uh, but Ninja, you take a lot of time to help everyone out. Anytime anyone has ever needed you, you are there. But you got to stop doing that a little bit, though. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but thank you very much for doing this, for taking your time to taking time out of your very busy schedule. I know how busy you are, too. <laughs> and, and you took this time, and you did that for us, for all of us. And I know that it's a very special topic for you, as it is yeah. for me and a lot of people in this chat. So thank you on behalf of all of us. Yeah, thank you. It's I think that it's good to uh, take time sometimes and just talk about yourself. You know, like I try, I try not to uh, too much. You know, sometimes it's talking too much about yourself is not is not the best either. But 
you know, doing some special stream and talk about uh, issues and stuff like that. It's just good, you know, um, you get to learn more about me and, and Zarina. And uh, you, it's just, uh, you know, a better connection, just, uh, just to say. But with that said, uh, again, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, keep a lookout. In about 30 minutes, I'll be interviewing Wild Galen, who is in the, the chat right now. Uh, to with his new game, so uh, I just gotta head out, prepare some more stuff, and uh, get back on the stream with a tie. So it's gonna be pretty fun. Um, we'll be there. Awesome. Uh, anything you'd like to add, uh, Zarina, before we end the stream? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. You said it very well. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> Bye.